Hello, beautiful people. Today we are making box brownies, but we're doing four things that will help any box brownie mix taste better. That's the first. And we're going to mix. My suggestion two tablespoons of brown sugar. If you don't like extra sweet, don't, you can leave it out. Then I have two tablespoons of all-purpose flour because I'm now baking at high altitude. Instead of that oil that the box says we should use, I'm using a melted stick of butter. And instead of that tablespoon of water, I'm using a tablespoon of heavy cream. You can use milk. You can use almond milk. I'm just going to pour it in. I'm going to eyeball it. And then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Eyeballing it. And then two eggs that I've already beaten. I took out the little white bullet, as my mom used to call it. And then I'm just going to stir till it is mixed well. Once it's all mixed well, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have mixed it. It's as smooth as it's going to get by hand. And I made a mistake before. I said a tablespoon of water, but it was two tablespoons. So I put two tablespoons of heavy cream. Or you could do two tablespoons of milk. Whole milk, 2% almond milk. I've already prepared my pan with parchment. I put down uh, margarine underneath so to help it, from, you know, to stop it from sliding. And I'm just going to... Try to get it into the pan and smooth it out as much as I possibly can. Ah, very chocolatey. It smells delicious. It smells great. Okay, I'm just going to get this all flattened out, smoothed out as much as I possibly can. And then I'll be back. Okay, I have it in there. It was a little thick, so I had to work with it and try to spread it out as even as possible. Like I said, I prepared the pan with parchment. I sprayed the sides so that hopefully everything comes out, you know, without a problem. I'm going to bake this according to the box. You bake yours according to whatever brand you um, purchased or have in your pantry. And when they're out of the oven I'll be back okay so the brownies are out and I have cooled them not as long as maybe we should but I set them on the rack now I'm going to take them out of the pan and I have my I have my chef's knife I spray with um, cooking spray and I'm going to just cut across and let's cut a little piece for myself before I cut all of them. Cause I've been waiting. Look at that. Look at that. It looks good. It's, uh, okay. Mmm. That is so good. My kids are gonna love these. So, those four little things that you can do to make them taste. Oh my God. So good. So good. Mercy. That is delicious. Okay. Thank you all. I'm going to finish this one. Finish cutting them. And I'll see you next time.